Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lessons to praise the Lord. Yes. He want our praise. Yes. He, we should meditate on him yes. day and night and praise him. And I'm going to do my favorite song, Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Hmm. Shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evil men advance against me to devour my flesh, when my enemies and my foe attack me, they will stumble and fall. Though an army besieges me, my heart will not fear. The war break out against me. Even then will I be confident. One thing have I asked of the Lord. This is what I seek. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord. All the days of my life. To gaze upon the beauty of the Lord. And to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle. And set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his tabernacle will I sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, O Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart say to you, seek his faith. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servants away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, O oh God, my Savior. Though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, O oh Lord. Lead me in the straight path because of my oppressor. Do not turn me over to the desires of my soul. A false witness rise up against me, breathing out violently. I'm still confident of this. I will seek the goodness <coughs> excuse me, of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be strong and take heart <coughs> and wait upon the Lord. <coughs> and again, I said we must praise him and give him honor and mercy and blessing. Yeah, come on y'all, let's get in the middle of this prayer. Praise be to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Bring out yeah. all your unwanted thoughts and cares to the altar. And we're going to ask God to heal and deliver. Amen. 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 Yeah. yeah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Ooh, oh, Heavenly Father, I come before your throne of grace thanking you, God. Thanking you, God, for lifting, retrieve your life ministry up with this music. Boy, yes. we've been on fire for a while now. I thank you, God, to touch that brother so we can keep on with the keep on. God, I lift up the sick and shut in. Lord, thank you for touching Martha Young, God, for healing 
want the young, God. Continue to keep her on their recovery path, God. Re touch Elder right now. I pray that you sent him some help to touch her to the task that he needed done, God. That he didn't have to do it himself, oh God. Lord, I lift up the, sucking, the sick and shut in at the hospitals, the homes, the nursing homes. I just lift up to the spiritual angels to camp around. Let them know they've been touched by God. The prison, the homeless, the, the juvenile, touch them all. The youth, touch them all, God. Lord, I lift up the unwanted spirit, the unhappiness, the unpleasing, the unpeaceful. Give us all joy, happiness. Lord, keep us. Kind spirit, let us, the kind spirit just flow through retrieve your life and through the world, through the universe. Let us all have unity, bring us together as one God. Let us be on fire for you. Lord, the Sunday school lesson was good. So keep us where we need to be, Lord. Just touch the pastor from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. Let him bring the word that's on fire so we all can be on fire. Continue to keep us with his vision, oh God. The vision that you appointed in him. Ooh, we Jesus. Ooh, we Jesus. Lord, if anyone is having some pain, touch them and heal them right now, Father. Heal them from the top of their heads to the sole of their feet. Lord, I thank you and praise you. Hallelujah. This is my prayer. Amen. It's not over. Until God says so. He said, you got to count it all joy. He make all things new. It's not over. I don't care what you're going through right now, but your mind should be clear and free because it's not over. You got to trust and believe in the Lord that it is not over because he does make all things new. He makes all things new. Don't worry about yourself. You know what? Put everything in your pocket right now. Put, don't put your hands back in. Leave it right there. Because he's going to make all things new. Amen. Because whatever it is you're going through, whatever it is you're facing, <coughs> baby, it's not over. Amen. <coughs> Until God says so. That's right. Yeah. Don't worry about what man going to tell you. <coughs> Come on. <coughs> Excuse me, because they're going to lie to you anyway. Yeah. Oh. They're going to tell you what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. They're going to tell you what you don't want to hear. Yeah. Right. But it's not over. It's not. Until God says so. Oh. So count it all, Joy. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Come on now. Throw getting a little raspy. Right. It's all over. It's all over. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Woo! I don't know about you, but I feel like I've been done like in a WWE right now, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I feel like? Woo! <laughs> Tell y'all a little something right now, and it's uh, I wasn't gonna say nothing to nobody. I ain't having two hours worth of sleep. I tried and I tried to go, to, I could not sleep. I, I, I sat up, look here, I sat up and talked to God all night. I was trying to go to bed at 10 o'clock because I knew I had to get up early, couldn't go. And I kept saying to myself, Why can't I go to sleep? <laughs> he kept saying, because I got something to say to you. All right, all right, all right. And every time I tried to go to sleep, I couldn't. I was just, I just, just wide awake. And I'm sitting watching that clock because I'm like, I know, I'm looking, I gotta get, I gotta lay down, I gotta get my head, I gotta get some rest. But he's steady talking and he's steady speaking. And I just listen. And then there, brother Terry, come with this song. It's not over until God says so. And I 
love that in the middle of it. I love that as a career, that, that in the middle of it. It's in the middle of it. All we need to do is pray. Man, if people just start praying around here, things will get better. But we have to make some commitments. Amen. Amen. And then, you know, not, not only to our prayer life, but to God. We, we, we got our priorities a little twisted right now in the world. Amen. You know, we, we, we say we love God. I love God. You don't love God? What's wrong with you? Huh? Now we're quick, we tell somebody quick that we love God. I love God. You don't love God? I'll be telling this to the person that said he loved God. What's wrong with you? Because you don't want to perpetrate. Hello. I love God. Anyway, I love God. And, you know, I try to act like I love God. Amen. I ain't saying I always act like I love God. Because I can sure act like I love the devil sometimes, too. You know, just just, just, just just keep it real this morning. Amen? Amen. Just for, just for a brief moment, I'm just going to keep it real with you for a moment. I ain't got no joke this morning. Amen? Come on. I'm telling you right now, you know, I, I, I might, I'll say some funny things, make you laugh, get you some little humor, but I ain't got no joke. All right. Because I love God. All right. Oh, see it like you mean. This is my body. This is my God. The word of God in whom I will trust. Amen. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we stand before you right now, Lord, and just, just want to speak your word. But Father, right now, implant your word in me. Use my voice. Use my body. Let the people of God receive your word and give you reverence on this day. Receive, receive our worship, O oh God. Receive our praise. Bless everyone in here under the sound of my voice with your grace and your mercy. Now, Father, just let me depart from myself and let you increase in me. Arise, Holy Spirit, and speak. These are not things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Amen. Y'all turn the Bible to the book of Philippians. <laughs> Philippians chapter 4. Starting at verse 6. Philippians chapter 4. Starting at verse 6. I ain't going to keep you long. <clears throat> Philippians chapter 4, starting at verse 6. Philippians chapter 4, starting at verse 6. Amen. Repeat that again. Philippians chapter 4. Starting at verse 6. Over there. Amen. And I'm reading out the NIV this morning, as always. And Philippians chapter 4, starting at verse 6, and the Bible reads as thus. Do not be anxious about anything. Man, I could have stopped right there and preached from that. But in every situation... By prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. You may be seated in the presence of God. Told you I ain't gonna keep you long. Two little verses. I really could I, I really could just read that one scripture. That, 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 that one said it all right there. Do not be anxious about anything. But just this morning, just for a little while, I want to talk to you. I want to share with you about I just stopped by for a little peace. All right, all right. I just stopped by for a little peace. Because is anybody looking for some peace this morning? Amen. Yes. Amen. Some peace of mind. Just some, some stillness in your life. Huh? Let me ask you something. On a scale of 1 to 10, and 10 being very close, how close are you to God? Amen. I see. I see Peppa Pig. How close are you to God? And you know, when you, when you, when you, when you evaluate yourself, 
Be honest with yourself. On a scale of one to ten, I would never stand up to nobody and say, oh, I'm a ten. Because I already know I'm not that close to God. Amen. Amen. A lot of preachers and a lot of people, Christians, well, people, Christians, so-called Christians, will tell you, I'm a 10. I'm a 9. If you're that close to God, why are you so lazy? Amen. Amen. <laughs> If you that close to God, how come you not serving? How come you don't you don't bring peace, but you raise a whole lot of hell? Come on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. See, it, it, on a scale of one to ten, that was a ten being very close. Now, I mean, when I'm living very close. How close are you to God? He had told us already that do not be anxious about anything. You know we anxious. We 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 so anxious. We that's our that's our nature. We're so anxious. We 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 see a we see a yellow light. We got to get through it because we don't want to be stopped at the red. And all you're doing is going to the next red light. Amen. That's just how in a hurry we get in life. We got to get home at a certain time. We got to make it home before our show come on. Everybody got DVRs today. Nobody, like, like, can't nobody record it. I don't want to miss my show. On a scale of 1 to 10, let's drop the 10, let's drop 9, let's drop 7, let's drop 8, let's drop 6, let's drop 5, mm. 4, 3, 2. <laughs> Might as well take one on all two. Let's just start over. That's the truth. Because we need to renew our relationship with God. Amen. God is doing a new thing. Mm -hmm. And it's time for us, as the Bible says in the book of Revelation, we got to refine our first love. See, I ain't talking about that man or that woman you fell in love with emotionally. My sister shared some women. I was sharing it with Brother Marlon this morning about, you know, about, about, about this, this sermon I saw. Touched my spirit so much. And I, I had to look and reevaluate my own self. All right. How many of us ask God, is that the person that you with? Mm. Is that the person for you? Mm. How many of us sought God first? Before we fell in love and said our I do's. I wouldn't even think about God. Lust. Coming out some some bad already in my life. And try to renew my childhood sweetheart. Try, try to renew that childhood thing. I'm a grown man. I, I'm trying to go back to when I was 15 and 14, 13, and 16 years old. Trying to renew all that. But did I ever seek God to say, is this the one that's supposed to be with me? No, I did not. And this is why a lot of relationships don't make it. Mm -hmm. Because God wasn't really in it. Wow. See, we're talking about, I just stopped by for a little piece. Mm. Piece of what? <laughs> Did you really want some peace in your life? Then you need to reconnect. Mm. That's right. Like I said, we're not tens. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We need to start over at zero. We need to renew and find our first love. Mm -hmm. It's time for us to get back with God. You want some peace in your life? Start over with God. And when I say, when I mean, I say start over, because see, I would have said God just stopped by. Mm -hmm. But see, God brings peace. Amen. 
So I'll just stop by for a little piece because I need some. Mm -hmm. mm. Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. That's what the word says. But how can you even seek the kingdom of heaven when you don't even know who you are? Come on. Come on. It's hard for us to accept who we are because we're too busy in the world that, that, that surrounds us and we're having so much fun in it. And I can't stand here and condemn nobody, Minister Men, because I was doing the same thing they was doing when I was 20 and 30. Amen. Amen. I wasn't thinking about God. I thank God that the 20 and 30 years old that we do have a church today that they didn't find God. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Because I wasn't thinking about having too much fun. Mm -hmm. But see, think about it when I say in the world, my, 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 my fun wasn't partying. I've never been a party person, for real. I DJ, that was just making money. That was my hustle. But I've never been that party person. Now, when it came to sports, I put everything on the back burner. Family. I mean, when I say everything, everything. My wife would be sick. And I had a game at 7 o'clock that night. I said, you going to be all right until I get back? And she'll tell me, yeah, and I know she's lying, but I got a game. Guess who won? I wasn't at home. I was at that game playing that game. And called home and I said, you need anything? When I know where I should have been, but I wasn't. My spirit wasn't there because my spirit wasn't ready yet to do, do what God wanted me to do and bring some peace in somebody's life. But I couldn't bring peace in her life because I didn't have none in my own. <laughs> we were just two peas in the piles, and like my brother told me this morning, <laughs> look here. You got two people that, that that's in love with one another, right? Right. Emotionally. Emotionally. Human emotionally. Not spiritually. Emotionally. But we gotta understand one thing, that's some imbalance there. Because
And then he told us, do not be anxious about anything. But in every situation in your life, I'm reading out the word, by prayer and petition, <laughs> by prayer and petition, stop praying when things don't go right in your life only. <laughs> Kids going crazy, husband going crazy, wife going crazy, they're just driving you, you can't do it with it. The work, people at work getting on your nerves, people at church getting on your nerves, pastor talking about you all up in your house, he, he getting on your nerves, you want him to shut up? Pray. Pray. How many of us have a prayer life uh, 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 developed where we, we pray every single day? And I ain't saying once a day, you say your little morning prayer, you want out to do it. Are you getting your car, Lord? Just give me the word safely. Amen. Yeah. Pray. No. He said every situation. Prayer and petition. You got to plead to God. And do it with thanksgiving. How many people, how many people right now, how many of you thankful for God this morning? Amen. Amen. Thankful that he's in your life. Thankful that he, he's kept you. This far. Yes. Do you know how many people did not wake up this morning? Yes. Do you know how many people's children <laughs> didn't wake up this morning? Tell me you don't have nothing to be thankful for. So what you broke? You got life. So what you had a half a tank of gas? You got gas. So what your life is in shambles? Pray. I pray all the time, Pastor. Don't nothing happen. Because your prayer ain't real. <laughs> Let's just keep it real for you. No, 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 Let's just keep it real. Keep it real. Because your prayer is not real. Mm -hmm. You keep that little $2 phony prayer all and put it back in your pocket. <laughs> Amen. Don't nobody, see, don't nobody want to hear the truth. Because when you're wrong, you're wrong. If you're going to serve God, serve God. But if you're going to serve Satan, serve Satan. I ain't got nothing against you if you serve Satan. That's on you. Because I love God. You don't love God? You're going to hell. The Bible tells us that we should present our request to God and the peace of God. This, this, is where I'm at. this is where we're at right now. The peace of God, not the peace of each one of us individually because we can't give nobody nothing. All we do is bring hell. That's all we do. We just create and bring hell in people's lives. <clears throat> Some of us just natural born hell raisers. Amen. We, we can't find nothing positive to say. We don't like nobody. Everybody get on our nerves. And I'm like, have you really looked at yourself lately? Have you really done a self-examination that we, we said every Sunday, the Bible said you should examine yourself. How many of us really examining ourselves every day? Not just on Sunday when we say it. <laughs> he said, present your request to God. And the peace of God which transcends all understanding. All understanding. Who better knows you than him? He knows you better than you know yourself. I just stopped by for a little peace this morning, Lord. I don't need much. Just give me a corner somewhere off by myself and just let me have some peace. Have you ever just closed your eyes and just, just had peace? I had peace last night when I couldn't sleep, just sitting there in the dark. No sounds, nothing, just, just, just me and me. <coughs> and I'm here to tell you firsthand, you can hear the voice of God. 
If you have an attentive ear, God does speak to us. And, and, and I've come to the conclusion that I got to start learning how to love me all over again. Because I can't love nobody else until I learn how to love me. We, we, we give our all to, to, our, to our significant others, our, 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 our spouses. We give our all. That's what we say. Good. But do we really? Mm. You know, good and... Uh, yeah. yeah, that word. <laughs> well, you don't. <laughs> we don't give our all. We give what we want to give. I'm going to say things to you to make you feel good. Yet I really, inside, I really could care less how you feel. But I'm going to make you feel good. Now, if I was loving you the way I should, I wouldn't have those other emotions going on inside. If I was loving you the way I should, if God had appointed this woman or this man to me, there would be no looking at someone else. Y'all know, I done, I done looked at, I done, I done went past looking. Hey Amen. I done had sex, and I, done, I done did it all, baby. I'm a zero. I'm trying to get very close to God. Amen. So I can't, I can't even claim one yet. I'm working on it. I'm trying to get there. I see people will judge and people will talk. It don't mean that I'm not a good pastor. It don't mean that I'm not a man of God. It don't mean that I'm a, not a good man. It don't mean that I'm a man that has, that has, has not and has made mistakes. I love it when Tupac said, only God can judge me now. Thank you, Pop. Because we try to judge everybody. But this morning, I just stopped by for a little peace. That's all. And I pray that you find the things you need to do to deepen your relationship with the Lord. I pray that you start over. If you think you're five, baby, knock yourself down to a zone and just start over. It's time to renew. It's time to restore. This is why we're at Retrieve Your Life. Because it's time for us to do that. It's time for every last one of us to retrieve our lives and get it back in order and get back on track with him. And I can't make nobody do anything, but I'm going to tell you right now, I'll try to be the best leader that I can when, under, under the auspices of God. I'll try to be the best person that I can, the best pastor that I can possibly be and be the best example that I can possibly be. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm going to tell the truth. What? From here on out, I can't help but baby, if the truth hurt, it's going to have to hurt. That's right. That's the best way. Amen. I told my wife, I'm tired of lying. I'm tired of running. Amen. I'm just tired. Amen. I can't do nothing but be truthful now. Because if I'm going to give God my all, I got to tell the truth. Amen. Whether people like it Amen. or not. Lord. And I can't stand here before anybody in here and tell people what to do and can't even tell my own story. All right, all right. Like that. Because I have been a liar. I've been a cheater. I've been, baby, I've done everything under the sun. Hello, somebody. Hello. 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 I ain't just talking about my past either. Green. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. 
But does that make me a, a, a really bad person? No. 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 Everybody in here got a skeleton or two. Yep. Yes. But ain't nobody going to wait. Sure. Ain't even tell all my business. <laughs> like, like this is the tale of true Bible. <laughs> Not gonna happen, Pastor. <laughs> this ain't your house. No, it ain't. Hey, Pastor. This ain't your house. I don't know when your house gonna be. Oh, That's up to you when you ready to tell the truth. This, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I can only lead and show by example. Amen. From this day forward, my service is all to the Lord. Amen. And I'm going to love God if I don't love nobody else. Amen. If I never, ever fall in love again, mm. I'm going to love him. Amen. I'm going to serve him. Because I'm going to find my first love. Amen. And renew that. And restore that. Because I'm going to retrieve my life. Amen. I just stopped by for a little peace. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Amen.